Hello Libra and welcome to your three month tarot forecast for January, February and March of 2024. We are going to look at the good stuff coming in for you guys so you have something to look forward to. So let's get into this Libra. Let's see what good things are coming your way these first three months of the year. So we've got commitment coming through, spirit of place, and into the unknown. Ooh, Libra, you are making a change these first three months of the year. And look at the very next card is sad embrace. So this tells me that you've been going through it in 2023 something really hurt you something took the wind out of your sails something brought you down and you've been working through that energy and it's not to say life is just terrible and sucks it's there's just something that has been on your heart something that happened here and you've been carrying this energy trying to work through it doing your best not wanting to be sad, not wanting to care about this, just kind of feeling over it. I'm just, I'm ready for something new. And then here comes the new year, Libra, and something new into the unknown is knocking on your door and you are going to make a commitment to it. And also spirit of place, this is you becoming very, very present in the now no longer caught up in whatever this past energy is that was making you sad. And also, there's a sense of no longer trying to see into your future, which is interesting because here you are watching this reading. It's more like, how do I express this? I just, I feel like you're surrendering. You're opening up to whatever may come. Like spirit, universe, I surrender to my life, to these circumstances. I am open for something new. If it's gonna bring me happiness, if it's gonna bring me joy, if it's going to excite me, I open myself up, I surrender, I'm ready to receive. And Libra, something comes in and you are making a very strong commitment to it. Whether this is a big change, that you're deciding on. This is a new relationship coming in, maybe new job, new career path, new way of doing things. It's different for all of you, but you are making a very strong commitment to it and you're getting very solid being in the present moment of the now and you're enjoying life again and you're feeling good. So let's pull a card to look at your overall energy, your chakras. Okay, wow, that was a quick shuffle. Okay, you guys have the crown chakra coming through with guidance and see a compass, support, love, signs, direction. Libra, the reason why you're finally letting go of this sad embrace is because you have completed the soul lesson attached to it or the um, soul contract is complete, okay? And now what was once sadness and pain is now transformed into wisdom and strength and determination and empowerment. And you, where you were feeling directionless, now you know which path you wanna go. There's a lot of signs and synchronicities happening for you. And I love this because this is card 47 and this is card four and this is card seven. There is a lot of unknown coming into the present moment and there's going to be signs and synchronicities around it and you're going to know, okay, that's the way I'm supposed to go. And also with love on here, I do feel there is some love coming in for my single Libras these first three months of the year. So let's look at January specifically. Okay, 
Ten of Winter. The resolution of difficulties. Yeah, you're setting that down. A weight is lifted off your shoulders. The end of an addiction or codependency. So, Libra, the hardest part is behind you. You're leaving it in 2023. You're happy. You're excited. Oh, yes, because look at what we have now. The Ten of Summer, the Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords is turning into Ten of Cups. An emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. And Six of Autumn, the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money, borrowing wisely or repaying debts. Libra, energy is balancing out with the Six of Pentacles, where there was a lot of sadness, it is replaced with happiness. You're going from Ten of Swords, which is rock bottom, feeling stabbed in the back, feeling purposeless, feeling very lost, to feeling overjoyed. All ten cups are full. You're happy. You're satisfied. You're excited about life and where it's headed. And some positive return of energy is also coming in in January. Something um that you've done in the past is now coming back to you in January. Some of you are going to be able to pay off some um, debts or like some credit card debt in January or like a final car payment or something along those lines. So some of you are going to finally be able to pay off some debt. And I think that is what uh, lifts you out of this Ten of Swords for some Libras, okay? But January... Um, you go from that hard, cold energy of the swords into the warm embrace of the cups energy. So, big shift in the month of January. Let's look at February. Seven of Autumn, have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. Prince of Spring, it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. Okay, so Princess of Spring would be the Page of Wands. And lastly, we have the Queen of Winter. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. And now is the time to focus on your career. Okay. So, in February, this here, Libra, is where I feel you're making this commitment to something new. And you see this as a long-term investment. Whether it's of your money, your time, your emotions, different for all of you as this is a general read, but this commitment that you're making very strong in February and you realize that this is something that's going to take time to grow and expand and you're here for it. You actually have a lot of patience for it. You're excited for it. This is new, okay, with the Page of Wands, a new commitment that you're going to be investing something about you into deeply. Your time, your money, your energy, your emotion, your creativity. You're just, you're funneling yourself into this and you know it's going to take some time, but you feel mentally capable, able, like I'm ready for the long haul. I've got this because look, strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny up there at the top. And Seven of Pentacles, you know, can be a card of you're just wasting your time or a card of you need to have a lot of patience. And just the way this is aspected, it's a card of you investing your time, something that's going to grow over time. All right, let's look at March specifically. You're finally feeling on your path. 
Libra, January, February. Let's see what's happening in March. Okay, a Prince of Summer, romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious. Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. Five of Summer, trust that there's a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from negative emotions of others, focusing on that which frightens you. And the Moon, powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. Okay, so for my single Libras, out there, March is a month that could herald a brand new romantic partnership for you. Oh my gosh, and look at what's on the bottom, the Ace of, uh, yeah, the Ace of Cups, which would be, um, I'm sorry, the Ace of Summer, which would be the Ace of Cups. All right, so yes, my single Libras, March looks like the month um, that you are meeting somebody new and you got the moon here this is the card that represents Pisces um, you got all this cups energy and then king of cups so it feels strong that there is love new love coming to Libra during Pisces season okay and March is Pisces season could be a Pisces person but I just feel this is more talking about Pisces season is when this is coming in and you're afraid of it because you don't want to be hurt again um, but with all this cups energy this is going to be a very strong spiritual connection and emotional connection that just kind of happens very fast. And you can trust this. This new love has been guided to you. Okay, now for the rest of the Libras out there where this uh, new love message would not apply whatsoever, you are absolutely loving what you have committed yourself to in February. Okay, you are absolutely loving it. It's fulfilling you emotionally. Also, in the month of March, Libra, you guys are very intuitive. Pay attention to your intuitive promptings. Anything, um, you know, whether it's something for the good and, and you need to try for it, or you're getting more of a red flag intuitive prompting to steer clear of something, listen to those intuitive promptings because your intuition is on point with all this water and the moon right there. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera stand. All right, let's look at blessings specifically month by month. All right, a blessing on your boundaries. So this just flew out. And this, Libra, where you have not felt the emotional, mental strength to say your truth or put somebody in their place or whatever, as you roll into the new year, you're going to have no trouble laying down your boundaries. All right, you're going to just... Um, I get some of you have been kind of unsure about a connection in your life where you've kept it on the back burner. You haven't really made a choice either way. And as you come into the new year and things are changing, you're going to decide that, you know what? No, I'm no longer looking at the past. I'm no longer waiting around for anyone or anything. I'm moving forward. Right, January. Ooh, a blessing on your love. Okay, so in January, Libra, because you're going from the Ten of Swords into the Ten of Cups, that is love filling your heart space. Love for life. Love for what's unfolding. Love for what's happening for you. Okay, um, a lot of happiness unfolding in the month of January and it's a blessing and some of you even though I see the strong love here in March some of my single Libras love could come in the month of January with this being a blessing February 
a blessing for support. Okay, so whatever you're deciding here in February, Libra, for yourself, you know, um, this new path you're really committing to, you're going to have a lot of support around you through friends and family. You're not going to feel alone. You're going to feel very encouraged. So in the month of February, you have a big fan club, a big support system. In the month of March, a blessing of Earth. Okay, so this is something is manifesting in the material world. And it's a huge blessing for Libra. And you love it. And you are excited. And you are happy. Beautiful first three months, Libra. Right, Four of Wands, things getting very stable and secure. Empress, nice, abundance, fertility, creativity, prosperity. Five of Wands coming out of the uh, conflict externally as well as internally. New path going into the unknown. I mean, the this card right here and the full card could be the same card. And Ace of Cups, new love. And look at what's on the bottom. The Two of Cups. New love, new romance for some Libras. But for others, this is that love energy with the way life is now shifting and changing. You're now in love with yourself, with your family, with your job, with your life with your friends. Love is feeling your heart these first three months of the year. And some of you, it's because there's a new romance. And you know, also Libra, some of you could be meeting a new friend or a new coworker that you're just, you guys are super compatible, have a lot in common, and you really um, hit it off with this person quickly. You're divinely guided to remember intuition on point, especially in March. All right, we've got air. Work with the element of air to cut through to the core of a situation and see the truth. And this is you listening to and trusting your intuition. Happy love, a joyful, stable partnership and good friends. That's lovely, Libra. And lastly, goddess. Healing feminine energy, which means you're coming out of this sad embrace. Beautiful. All right, Libra. So those are your messages for the first three months of the year. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.